just start you out about going against uh, the Colts, you know, your former oh, team. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, if you want to talk smack about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm not talking any spec. I've been real quiet this week. i just been working, locking in, uh, making sure that my performance speaks for itself. So I'm not getting caught up in the, the verbal abuse. I'm just go out there and do my thing. Does it seem a little bit unusual? I, know I can think of at least four guys on the roster, you know, former, former Colts that are going back. Is that something that you guys have talked about uh, a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah, Chester, Danico, myself, um, we, Mathias. Yeah, Mathias. Um, we all talk about it all the time. Like, you don't need to tell us anything. We're ready to go. I know what your mindset is going into this game. So I feel the same way. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. I'm locked in like any other week. But it's a little bit more of an edge to you. It's more of a chip on your shoulder when you stepping back into that arena, that situation, and seeing all the former coaches and players. So. What are, memories from playing, from, what are your memories from maybe playing there? Um, and, and maybe who has advantage in a situation like that where you know them, they know you a little bit? Um, I mean, it's a lot of memories stand out, like moments, I would say. Uh, obviously, being traded there, that was a wild situation when I landed in Indy. The, the, the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of it, the injuries coming back, uh, being cut, all those different things, uh, it resonates with me. It, some of it's good, some of it is frustrating, you know what I mean, even to this day thinking about it. But as far as an, an advantage, I think it still just comes down to winning the one-on-one -on -one matchup and then uh, trusting the schemes that Todd has for us to go out there and execute. I know you were out when they came here, but is it a bigger deal when you played for another team to go back to where you used to call it home? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was my thing when I first got hurt and I already knew I was going to miss that game. I was like, I'm not even – I mean, obviously I wanted to be out there, but I was like Halloween in Indianapolis, like – I'm good. Like, I'll be ready for that. So, you have to guard against maybe getting too hyped up for this game? I'm, I'm real, like, laid back. I, I'm not, I haven't ever been one of those cats who gets so riled up that, you know, I'm, I play out of control. I'm usually pretty poised in that sense. But I will say, uh, there have been games where you get emotional or you back in, in that environment and you feel a certain way. So, I think if anything, it'll just help me uh, be more locked into the game plan and wanting to show them, like, look, I, this is what I missed out on. So, talking to these guys, it's always about how they kind of mirror us up there in terms of physicality and mm -hmm. stuff. Is is that what you know you guys talked about when you were up there and would and we would play the Titans here? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's a physical group that was always from day one when I got there. I think that's something that's been uh, a shared mindset. Uh, those principles of being physical, uh, knowing your assignments, uh, playing sound football, no turnovers. You know what I mean? So. Uh, I would say that actually, when I hear Vrabel talk and then thinking back to Frank when he would talk, it's, it's very similar in that sense. Marcus, AJ has, you know, obviously gotten going the, the last couple of weeks, you know, with improved health. And then, you know, it sounds like the food poisoning thing is a thing of the past. Um, mm -hmm. I guess how does having just AJ out there at full strength change uh, to, to your benefit, like the offense and, and what you guys are able to do to teams? Now he's been balling. And that's, that's, I knew who he was as far as how dominant he could be before I got here, um, watching his film, watching him play. Uh, him and Julio, man, it, it, it takes a lot of pressure off of us as far as sometimes that double team that allows us just to be one-on-one, -on -one, and it, that's our job to, to maximize those opportunities. So uh, obviously he goes out there and balls regardless. We have his back, he has our back, and we just play off each other in that sense. Was, was Chester being here, did that factor into you uh, coming here uh, at all? Was that a attraction it helped yeah, yeah being able to talk to him pick his brain about the situation and the team it really helped me um wanting to move forward you know what i mean when we had the off-season negotiations and wanting to be back so he helped a lot he helped a lot